This week we're on a quest for DLP, and I'm not talking about televisions. This episode of Tech Chop is brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Welcome to episode 40 of Tech Chop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, aka Twitter.com slash Pablo. This week, I was on the search for a gateway DLP device for my office network for PCI compliance. For those of you who don't know, DLP either stands for Data Loss Protection or Data Leakage Prevention, depending on which vendor you're dealing with. The idea with DLP is to keep sensitive information from leaking out of your network. Stuff like credit card information or social security information can easily be copied to an email or a document and emailed out of your network by a disgruntled employee looking to make some cash on the side. Without some form of DLP preventing that from happening, there isn't much you can do about it. Gateway DLP devices require that all network traffic flow through it so it can scan the data packets for sensitive information. If detected, it can usually be blocked or quarantined. Administrators can then go in later and see who on their network is trying to leak data either intentionally or not. Some of these DLP gateway solutions come as virtual network appliances, server software, firewalls, or even physical hardware appliances. Some of them are more cost effective than others. I'll go over what I found right after this. Meetings are essential to the way we work. It's an opportunity to share ideas, problem solve, develop creative solutions. But if your team is spread out in different locations, Coming together can be an impossible task, unless you use GoToMeeting with HD Faces, the powerfully simple way to meet and collaborate online. We use GoToMeeting at my office all the time. People love it because it's so easy to use, and you will too. No matter where everyone is located, GoToMeeting allows you to share the same screen, making it easier to be on the same page. And with built-in HD video conferencing, you can see each other face-to-face. It's so easy to launch or join a meeting from anywhere using your computer, phone, or tablet. And now you can even present from your iPad. Try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. For this special offer, visit GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PODCAST. Remember, use the promo code PODCAST. GoToMeeting. Meeting is believing. So I've been looking at DLP solutions. My first stop was with a free and open source solution, as is generally where I look first for all new technologies. I found a solution called MyDLP Community Edition. Check out this video explaining MyDLP with a creepy computer voice. Your company is built on information and ideas. It functions like a network, and every piece of this network is connected. If one of them is stolen, your network will collapse. Let's see, what went wrong? You have lots of users in the network. Even if one user causes information theft. Via internet, email, printing, smartphones and removable devices. The result could be really harmful. With MyDLP, you can secure your ideas. MyDLP detects confidential data and prevents data leakage. MyDLP even discovers confidential data before the leakage and warns the administrator. You can easily install MyDLP and get protection for your company. MyDLP Securing Ideas So yeah, I thought MyDLP would do the trick. I found a couple of problems with it though. For one, the MyDLP install disk didn't have drivers for Zen server. So I had to install Ubuntu first and then install MyDLP using a custom repository. Also, when I did that, I couldn't set a root password for MySQL or else the Jetty portion of MyDLP wouldn't work right. That stuff aside, once I got MyDLP up and running, I tried setting a few test rules using their built-in filters for credit cards and for social security numbers. Neither of those filters detected my emails. The only way I could get my DLP to work was by creating a custom keyword. Anything with my custom keyword was detected and blocked every time. Keywords are great, but if you have to protect dynamic data, keyword rules aren't going to work. So next I decided to look at what was out there commercial wise. I found that McAfee had some solutions, but seeing as how I have never had any luck with their products working, 
the way that they're supposed to, I opted out. I've used McAfee antivirus in the past. It can detect viruses and malware all day long, but couldn't remove them if its life depended on it. Plus, McAfee is way overpriced. No thanks, McAfee. Next, I found an appliance by Bluecoat. With Bluecoat DLP, you can identify and protect sensitive data from inappropriate distribution, protect your organization and your brand, track data with fingerprinting capabilities, monitor SSL traffic across the web gateway, reduce intentional or accidental data tampering, and you can install Bluecoat DLP in less than a day. Sounds awesome. How much is their lower end appliance? Well, edgeblue.com is selling it for $10,680. Ouch. So I kept looking. And next I came across a Barracuda hosted solution called Web Security Flex. I wish I could tell you how much it costs, but I can't find anything on their website. I'm one of those people that don't want to have to talk to a high pressure salesman just to get a simple idea on how much it costs. Plus, I wasn't sold on the idea of a hosted solution for DLP. I want to keep DLP in my network. Then I came across FortiGate firewalls. Just about every FortiGate firewall supports FortiGuard, which not only includes DLP, it also includes gateway antivirus, web filtering, and intrusion detection and prevention. Plus the FortiGate 40C model only costs about $650, which includes two years of support and two years of FortiGuard. Check out this video showing how FortiGate helps prevent data loss. Now, again, based off of the marketing group's user credentials, we've deemed that Yahoo Instant Messenger is a viable business tool, and we're going to use this to communicate with our internal and external business partners with a few caveats. Um, a, we're going to scan it for intrusions and malware and viruses. Um, we're also going to look for information leakage data, such as credit cards and social security numbers. Keep that sensitive data inside the organization. We're also going to archive all data so we have some forensic information on the conversations that go in and out of our organization. So Joe successfully logs into Yahoo Instant Messenger. So now we've captured the username of Joe, the group name of marketing, as well as his screen name and any chat dialogue that moves back and forth uh, through the FortiGate. Now, the first thing Joe does is launch a chat session with his buddy Forty user and states, hey buddy, it was great seeing you over the weekend. Right? So perhaps this is a friend that he hung out with over the weekend. Um, now, at this point, we really don't know much about Joe, but perhaps he's having some financial difficulties. Maybe he's concerned with his job and has the need to make some extra money. So they continue their, organ their, their chat session here, and it looks harmless so far. Forty user responds with, same here, how's work going? Uh, going good, working my tail off. As we can see, that's, that's not really the case. He says, yep, same with me. So Joe responds here with the message that says, hey, were you serious about that business opportunity that we discussed? All right, so for a user thinks about it and he responds with, absolutely, do you still have those files? So Joe is looking forward to this, maybe leaking out some data so he could sell this outside of the organization for some extra money for whatever the reason may be. All right, so he responds with, sure do, and I could really use the money, dollar sign, dollar sign. So keep in mind we're capturing this entire transcription right, for forensic reasons. Right, so Joe happens to have the file employeesocial.doc on his desktop, attempts to transfer that over Yahoo Instant Messenger to the remote user. And the first thing we see here is a message back that states, a problem occurred while transferring the file employeesocial.doc. The transfer has been stopped. Now this particular message is again a replacement message that can be of course fully customized by the administrator. So the steps that are taken when we see malicious code, um, sensitive data that's leaked out is A, we have the ability to block that transmission, right, to keep the sensitive data or malicious code where it belongs and that's inside the desktop, keeping it from propagating outside. For less than $1,000 it appears you can secure your network from data loss and data leakage with FortiGate. This is what we decided on. Now, we haven't received it yet, so I can't speak to how well it actually performs. Of course, if it does end up not working as advertised, you guys will be the first to know. That's all I have for this week. Do you guys use DLP in your networks? What solutions do you use? Do you like it, hate it? Let us know in the comments or sound off on Facebook or on Twitter. I want you to all know that we will not have an episode next week for Thanksgiving, but we will be back on Monday the 26th. Be sure to like, fave, subscribe, and we'll see you next time right here on Tech Chop. Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. 
techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here.